What is going on guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe, like the video, makes me feel better. I mean, what's wrong with that? Today we are going to be talking about what happens if you are bitten by a snake. The rules apply for everywhere around the world, but in this case, I'm making it from Australia for Australians. Uh, there may be a few different things, being different species have different types of venom around the world. Maybe look up somebody local that can tell you what to do. Snakes do not inject venom into your bloodstream. That is a very big myth. It doesn't happen. It has been stories of it happening but there's been no solid scientific proof that it ever actually did happen to them. They inject it into your tissue and it is transferred through your body through movement. So if you lie perfectly still, it can't move anywhere. The first thing you want to do is lie completely still. Lay on the ground. If you are with somebody, get them to help you apply a bandage. The other day I was talking about a bandage and I managed to find it. This is a snake bite pressure bandage indicator thingy. You can get these online. I will put a link in the description below on where you can purchase them. I don't know if they ship out of the country, but if you are local in Perth, which I'm assuming most of you are, you can hit up these guys and they sell them relatively cheap. And if it saves your life, you'd spend thousands of dollars on one of these if they saved your life. So with this one, they are rectangles here. And when you pull them, they turn into squares. So roughly when they're in squares, that's too tight. That is good. A bandage like this, uh, there is different forms and other different bandages. So read the instructions and it'll show you what to do. Picking up one of these may save somebody's life. So just go grab one. If you do not have one of these, you can just use normal bandages. Uh, normal elastic bandages to apply pressure. Chances are you've been bitten on your arm or your legs. The ideal bandage for that would be wrap a bandage around the wound, uh, 10 centimeters above and below the wound, and then start applying your bandage from your fingers or your toes all the way up to your armpit or your groin. Bandages are supposed to be tight, but not to the point where you are starting to see the fingers or the toes go white or blue, then, then it's too tight. Then you might want to go back and uh, retry again. Back to the point about moving your arms, moving your muscles, will cause the venom to travel. So if it is all bandaged up, put a splint on it or something to stop them from moving their arms or their legs, which will prevent them from moving the venom around their body. Do not try and suck the venom out of the wound. It's a myth, it doesn't work doesn't help anything. Don't wipe the area, just apply the bandage over the top of it. Don't do anything else to it. You do not have to identify the snake. Not identifying the snakes means that you do not have to chase it, which means that you don't have to ignore the first rule of getting bitten by a snake, which is staying still. Don't chase the snake. You do not need a photo. And if the person with you is going to catch the snake, then they are wasting time on bandaging you up and they are also most likely gonna get bitten as well. Not all snake bites mean that you have been envenomated. They can do dry bites. This does not mean that you get to pick whether or not you should or shouldn't seek medical advice because you should always seek medical advice just in case. Hunters are host, they will keep an eye on you, see if you have any side effects and if you do need the anti-venom. Anti-venoms are expensive, so not every single little hospital around Australia is going to stock them. If you are going to a hospital, give them a call. See if you're wasting time going to that hospital. Usually, you've already called them and they'll be able to tell you who or where to go. Or they'll pick you up in an ambulance or a helicopter if you're unlucky enough to get bitten out in the wild. Hopefully, I've covered all of the points in this video. I'm, I'm not going to say if you've watched this video, don't call triple zero because you should always call triple zero. And look, if you don't remember this video, don't panic. Just call triple zero and they will walk you through it. Bringing me to my last, last, last point. Get bandages. They don't have to be these bandages. But like I said, I will leave a link in the description below to a place that sells these bandages. And that's just a base place to start. 
but if you have just normal bandages, practice bandaging with just a normal elastic bandage. Not too tight that you're cutting off circulation, but not too loose that it's just gonna slip off. The number one thing to treating a snake bite is just not getting bitten in the first place. I go over this all the time. Do not try and move snakes yourself. Call somebody like myself to remove the snakes for you or just leave them alone. And the chances are is that they will leave you alone. All right guys, I hope this video worked out well because if I look as nervous as I am, I am probably gonna delete this footage. Take it easy, stay awesome, and remember, you can't fail if you try.